What's up guys, Mason the Brock Henderson here, and this is Timeless Season 1, Episode 12, The Murder of Jesse James. So yeah, a lot of stuff happened in this episode. First of all, we've got Gia is now being trained to pilot the, whatever it's called, the time travel machine. I can't remember the name for some reason. But she's being asked to train to be the pilot for it by Connor Mason, because apparently Rittenhouse wants her to take Rufus's place, so that way Rufus's threat of you won't have a pilot anymore, doesn't hold water. Uh, you have Wyatt goes to see his wife's murder in prison and decides he really does want to join uh, Flynn in the murder <laughs> escapades. And we see Lucy apparently forgets, almost forgets her sister's birthday, even though she's the only one that remembers her sister even existed. And so she's having to deal with the repercussions of that. All of that surrounds an episode where they go back in time, Flynn saves Jesse James, and that's pretty much the the episode. You know, like that, just think about the repercussions of that. He saves Jesse James, now he has Jesse James as a partner, he's about to wreck some folks. On top of that, we see our group ends up enlisting the help of the original Lone Ranger. That's freaking awesome. So yeah, it's a really, really great setup. I mean, all of it was so well done, and honestly, some things happened at the end that I wasn't really expecting to happen. First of all, we see that the Lone Ranger, uh, Bass Reeves was his name, we see him, he wants to bring in Jesse James alive. Like, that is the one thing he keeps saying, is like, we need to bring him in alive. And of course, Wyatt's like, uh, no, I'm gonna kill him because he's a murderer and he dies in history, so he deserves to die. And so... As we're getting to that point in the episode where <clears throat> Jesse James takes this, I guess it's an automatic rifle, from Flynn, and he uses it to shoot up the cabin where our team is hiding, and he ends up killing the original Tonto. So at that point, you just expect, okay, so here comes Wyatt, he's just going to kill him. Well, he shoots him once in the arm and has him at gunpoint. Here comes Bass, and he's got a gun to both of them. He's just like, put the, we put the weapon down. And so it's just like this an intense moment where is Wyatt actually going to listen or is are they actually going to take in Jesse James alive? If they do, what's going to happen to history because of this? Well, all of a sudden a gunshot rings out. There's Lucy standing behind Jesse James. Killed him. And honestly, of the three, she was the one I expected the least. You know, I. it's crazy. I understand she's a historian and she doesn't want to change history and all that stuff. But still, like, just the fact that she was willing to go as far as to murder somebody who was completely unarmed, yeah, it's <laughs> it was pretty unexpected. So all of that's going on. On top of that, we find out that apparently Flynn's plan for this episode is he wants to go find a woman that turns out she was one of the original pilots for the time machine, and she faked her own death but actually went to go hide out in this time period. And so now Flynn's recruited her to take on Rittenhouse because that's the reason why she decided to fake her own death. Rittenhouse was pressuring her. I did not expect that at all. <laughs> I didn't expect to go see... You know, I heard some of the pilots before Rufus had lost their lives. I didn't expect this to, to be the reasoning, you know, that they actually fake their own deaths to do this. It kind of just shows that Rittenhouse really... They have their finger in a lot more than you expect. So all of that's going on, and then at the end we see Wyatt asks Rufus to help him kill his wife's killer, and Rufus seems to be like, um, maybe. You know, he doesn't say no, at first he does, but it seems like he's really considering it. I don't know what to expect anymore. You know, like, I, I felt like I had a handle on this show. I felt like we were going to get to a point where it's like, oh, okay, so at some point they're going to realize that Flynn is a bad guy, but he's not as bad as Rittenhouse, and so at some point they'll help him, and he'll understand that he's going too far and so he'll learn to become a nicer guy and you know Wyatt's gonna probably get his wife back Lucy's probably gonna get her sister back but now I don't know what to think anymore you know they had a chance to work with Flynn to stop Rittenhouse that's pretty much cut off now like they turned against Flynn he pretty much hates them and I don't think there's a chance he's gonna try to work with them again on top of that we see Wyatt does have the chance to get his wife back but it's going to take killing his wife's killer's parents and I don't know if he has 
I, I don't think he can do it. You know, I don't think he is that far gone to the point where he can actually pull the trigger and kill two innocent people just because their son turns out to be a killer and kills his wife. I, I understand the correlation. I understand his mind will try to rationalize it. But I don't think he's enough of a bad guy inside to be able to do that. On top of that, Lucy's sister, I don't know if we're going to be able to get her back or not. You know, like, it seemed like that was going to be something that we would touch on early on. You know, that we would get into that, but slowly it became less of a big deal. It became more about Rittenhouse and stopping Flynn from changing the timeline. To the point where now she pops up in this random episode to remind you, oh yeah, hey, I still don't exist. And you just missed my birthday. Yeah, that, that kind of sucks. You know, I didn't expect that to happen. So all of this stuff is going on, and I just don't know what to expect anymore. And the fact that they managed to keep me on my toes with this story writing is really amazing. You know, I feel like I've seen pretty much every single storyline there is to see at this point in my life, even though I'm really young. And yet I still, this show just continues to bring up these crazy plot points that I did not see coming. You know, some of them are obvious, some of them completely unexpected. So all of it's really well done. I think just the, the characters themselves have such interesting stories going on that I am getting invested in all of them. You know, I want to see what's going to happen next. Gia, at first, she seemed like she was just going to be a love interest for Rufus, and that was it. The fact that she's now being trained as Rufus's replacement because Rittenhouse want Rufus gone, that makes her more interesting, and it makes... It makes it easier to connect to her character now, besides just the fact that, oh, she's just, she's the pretty girl that Rufus gets in the, in the episode. So, yeah, all of this stuff is really well done. It's very interesting to see where they're taking this show. I don't know what's going to happen next. I, I looked at what next week's episode is going to be called, but I forget it now. So, I don't know what's going, what's going to happen next. I don't know what's going to happen by the end of the season. But hopefully they keep on just putting out these really great episodes, because it's a lot of fun to watch. You know, it's... And not beyond just, oh yeah, the story's great, the acting's great. No, seeing all this history is actually really spectacular, too. I mean, I had no idea that Lone Ranger was originally black. Who knew that? Probably a lot of people, but I didn't. You know, it just... And I love the, the story at the end where Rufus goes up to him and says, some white dick is going to put on a mask and pretend to be you. I'm like, that's pretty much what happened, because that's, that's just how it was. So, I don't know, it's just, it's so fun to see these historical figures and learning stuff about them that I didn't really know before. So, all of this is a lot of fun, and really enjoying it. So, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. What did you like and dislike about this episode? Let me know, we can talk about it and discuss all that good stuff. Leave a like and subscribe for future Timeless Reviews. I'll see you at the next one. Peace out.